Hi everyone, Ray here and on this video we are going to talk about UITFs or Unit Investment Trust Funds. A UITF is a pool of investments funded by various investors. In its simplest terms, it's like a big investment jar managed by a bank and you can buy a piece of that jar. Here's how it works. Imagine you have a big jar labeled UITF at a bank and it's filled with money from many people or investors. Each person who puts money into the jar gets some units representing their share. So if you put money in, you get units or shares that represent your ownership of the jar. You put 1,000 pesos into the jar and receive 1,000 units. Someone else puts 2,000 pesos and gets 2,000 units, and so on. Now, the bank's experts or fund managers take all the money in the jar and invest it in various instruments like stocks, bonds, and other investments. They make investment decisions based on the UITF's objectives and strategy. If those investments make money, the value of the jar goes up and the value of your units go up too. If your money in the jar goes up, say, 5,000 pesos, your 1,000 units are now worth 5,000 pesos. So each unit is worth 5 pesos. When you want to take your money out or you want to redeem, you simply sell or give back your units. And the bank gives you the equivalent amount of money based on the current value of the jar. This allows you to easily buy and sell a piece of the investment jar. The bank will pay you the corresponding amount based on the NAVPU or net asset value per unit at the time of redemption. What is a NAVPU? It is the unit price of a fund. It tells you how much each unit or share of the fund is worth at a specific point in time. If we go back to the jar analogy, the NAVPU would be how much each unit is worth if you divide the total cost of the funds in the jar minus expenses and liabilities and equally divide among all units. So it helps you know the value of your share in the investment fund. Let's say the jar started with a total of 50,000 pesos with 50,000 units and it increased to 70,000 pesos. The total NAVPU would be 70,000 pesos divided by 50,000 units, which is equivalent to 1.4 pesos per unit. So if you own 1,000 units, then the value of your investment will already be 1,400 pesos because 1,000 units times 1.4 units is 1,400 pesos. On this example, the NAVPU went up, and this means that your share is worth more and that you've gained. But if it went down, it would be worth less. So this is one of the risks that we need to take into consideration when investing in UITFs, because the result of our investment will depend on the movement of the funds that we are invested in. The NAVPU changes often, every business day. So the NAVPU today may differ from the NAVPU tomorrow. It's a way to keep track on how well your investment is doing. It is important to assess your risk appetite when choosing a fund to invest in. Here are the different kinds of UITFs in the Philippines. Money Market UITF Its objective is to preserve capital while providing a modest level of income. They are suitable for conservative investors who prioritize safety and liquidity over high returns. These funds invest in short-term, no-risk securities, such as government treasury bills, commercial papers, and time deposits with short maturity periods. Money market UITFs are considered low-risk, making them suitable for investors with a low tolerance for risk. They typically offer lower returns compared to other UITF types but provide greater liquidity. Bond Fund UITF its objective is to focus on generating income through investment in a diversified portfolio of bonds and fixed income securities. These funds invest in government and corporate bonds, 
treasury notes, and other fixed income instruments, aiming to provide a steady stream of interest income. Bond fund UITFs carry moderate risk while they provide better returns compared to money market UITFs. While they provide better returns compared to money market UITFs, they are subject to interest rate fluctuations. Returns depend on prevailing interest rates and the credit quality of the bonds in the portfolio. They are typically higher than money market UITFs but lower than equity funds. Balanced Fund UITF Its aim is to strike a balance between capital preservation and capital appreciation. They are designed for investors seeking a moderate level of risk and returns. These funds invest in a mix of stocks and bonds to diversify risk. The allocation between stocks and bonds varies but is typically predetermined by the fund manager. Balanced fund UITFs are moderately riskier than money market and bond funds due to their equity component. Returns are influenced by both the performance of the stock market and the income generated from funds. They aim for a middle ground between safety and growth. Stock or Equity Fund UITF Its objective is primarily to seek capital appreciation by investing in a portfolio of stocks or equities. These funds predominantly invest in listed stocks on the stock exchange, aiming for long-term growth. They can be more volatile than other UITF types due to stock market fluctuations. Equity fund UITFs are considered high-risk investments because they are directly influenced by the stock market's volatility. They have the potential for higher returns compared to other UITFs over the long term, but also come with greater price volatility. There are other types of UITF funds, especially those that we may use when investing internationally. These are the fund of funds and feeder funds. To know more about these types of funds, you may check this video. Choosing the right UITF type depends on your financial goals, investment horizon, and risk tolerance. Diversifying across different UITF types and asset classes can also help spread the risk in your investment portfolio. These UITFs are all regulated by the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. I've created several videos on how to invest in the different UITFs in different banks and e-wallets. You may check them here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell in order to be notified when I upload more videos and tutorials on how to invest in UITFs in other common banks, e-wallets, and other investment platforms. Here are some of the common terms that you need to know when investing in UITFs. Trust fee. This is the fee that we pay the banks and fund managers for investing for us. This is the reason why we can just sit back and relax while they manage our money. This usually costs around 0.5 to 2% of the funds. Minimum holding period. This is the minimum number of days or months that we need to hold our investment in the fund to avoid any other fees. Many UITFs now do not have any minimum holding period, meaning that you can buy or sell your units anytime without restrictions. Early redemption fee. This is the fee that you should pay if you redeem your investment within the holding period. Risk appetite, risk level, or risk assessment. This refers to how comfortable or willing you are to take on different levels of risk with your investment. It's like deciding how adventurous or conservative you want to be with your money. It could either be low, medium, or high. You are usually required to take a risk assessment test when investing in UITF for the first time. You can not only invest in funds within the Philippines. You may also invest in international or offshore funds. Check these videos out. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.